ഹായ് എവരിവൺ ന വി ലുക്ക് ദ സെക്ഷൻ ഈ സ്ട്രെച്ചർ ഫോർ റിയലൈസേഷൻ ഓഫ് ഡിസ്ക്രീറ്റ് ടൈം സിസ്റ്റംസ് സോ വി ഓൾ നോ ഇതിൻ ഡിസ്ക്രീറ്റ് ടൈം സിസ്റ്റം ഹാവ് ദ ഡിഫറെൻറ്റ് ടൈപ്പ് ഓഫ് റിയലൈസേഷൻ ഓർ സ്ട്രെച്ചേഴ്സ് സോ ലീസ നമ്മളിപ്പോൾ ഇവിടെ ഡിസ്ക്രീറ്റ് ടൈം സിസ്റ്റത്തിൻ്റെ കേസിൽ എങ്ങനെയൊക്കെ റെപ്രസെൻറ്റ് ചെയ്യുക എന്നുള്ള കേസാണ് നമ്മൾ മെയിനായിട്ട് റെപ്ര എന്ത് ഡിസ്കസ് ചെയ്യുന്നത് സോ വി ഓൾ നോ നമുക്ക് ഈ ഒരു ഡി ഡിസ്ക്രീറ്റ് ടൈം സിസ്റ്റത്തിനെ നമ്മൾ ഡിഫറെൻറ്റ് സിറ്റുവേഷൻ വെച്ചിട്ടാണ് ഡിഫറൻസ് ഇക്വേഷൻ വെച്ചിട്ടാണ് നമ്മൾ എന്ത് റെപ്രസെൻറ്റേഷൻ ചെയ്യുക ഓക്കെ ഡിഫറൻസ് ഇക്വേഷൻ എന്ന് പറയുന്ന സമയത്ത് സോ വൈ ഓഫ് എൻ ഈസ് ഇൻ ദ ടേം ഓഫ് എക്സ് ഓഫ് എൻ്റെ ഒരു ഫംഗ്ഷൻ ആയിട്ടേക്ക് നമ്മൾ എഴുതുക ഓക്കെ സോ ഇങ്ങനെ നമ്മൾ എന്ത് ചെയ്യുക ഒരു ഡിഫറൻസ് ഇക്വേഷൻ ക്രിയേറ്റ് ചെയ്യുക ഫോർ ദ എവ്രി ഡിസ്ക്രീറ്റ് ടൈം സിസ്റ്റംസ് ഓക്കെ ഏതൊരു ഡിസ്ക്രീറ്റ് ടൈം സിസ്റ്റത്തിൻ്റെ ബേസിൽ നമ്മൾ ഡിഫറൻസ് ഇക്വേഷൻസ് എഴുതുക സോ ബേസ്ഡ് ഓൺ ദാറ്റ് ഡിഫറൻസ് ഇക്വേഷൻ നമ്മൾ എന്ത് ചെയ്യുക വെച്ചാൽ ആ നമ്മൾ ഇതിനെ ആ ഒരു സിസ്റ്റത്തിനെ നമുക്ക് രണ്ട് ടൈപ്പ് റെപ്രസെൻറ്റേഷൻ നമ്മൾ പഠിക്കും സോ ആ രണ്ട് ടൈപ്പ് റെപ്രസെൻറ്റേഷനിൽ നമ്മൾ എന്ത് ചെയ്യുക ആ ഡിഫറൻസ് ഇക്വേഷൻ യൂസ് ചെയ്തിട്ട് റെപ്രസെൻറ്റ് ചെയ്യാം സോ ബി അങ്ങനെ റെപ്രസെൻറ്റ് ചെയ്യുന്ന സമയത്ത് അങ്ങനെ റെപ്രസെൻറ്റ് നമ്മൾ ചെയ്യാൻ രണ്ട് സിസ്റ്റം ഇതുണ്ട് ഒന്ന് ബ്ലോക്ക് ഡയഗ്രാം റെപ്രസെൻറ്റേഷൻ എന്ന് പറയുന്ന സിസ്റ്റം ഉണ്ട് ആൻഡ് സെക്കൻഡ് വൺ എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ സിഗ്നൽ ഫ്ലോ ഗ്രാഫ് എന്ന് പറയുന്നൊരു റെപ്രസെൻറ്റേഷൻ ഉണ്ട് സോ ഈ രണ്ട് റെപ്രസെൻറ്റേഷൻ യൂസ് ചെയ്തിട്ട് നമുക്ക് ഡിഫറൻസ് ഇക്വേഷൻ യൂസ് ചെയ്താൽ നമുക്ക് ഈ രണ്ട് റെപ്രസെൻറ്റേഷൻസ് യൂസ് ചെയ്ത് നമുക്കൊരു ഡിസ്ക്രീറ്റ് ടൈം സിസ്റ്റത്തിന് റെപ്രസെൻറ്റ് ചെയ്യാം സോ ദ ഈ ഒരു സ്ട്രക്ചർ ഓഫ് സ്ട്രക്ചർ ഫോർ റിയലൈസേഷൻ ഓഫ് ഡിസ്ക്രീറ്റ് ടൈം സിസ്റ്റത്തിൽ നമ്മൾ ഇതിൻ്റെ റിയലൈസേഷൻ ഡിസ്ക്രീറ്റ് ടൈം സിസ്റ്റത്തിൻ്റെ റിയലൈസേഷന് വേണ്ടിയിട്ടുള്ള സ്ട്രക്ചേഴ്സാണ് പഠിക്കുന്നത് ഈ മെയിനായിട്ട് ബേസിക്കലി ഇതിൽ ബി എ ടു ടൈപ്പ് ഓഫ് സ്ട്രക്ചേഴ്സ് അത് സോ ഫസ്റ്റ് വൺ ഈസ് ബ്ലോക്ക് ഡയഗ്രാം ആൻഡ് നെക്സ്റ്റ് വൺ ഈസ് സിഗ്നൽ ഫ്ലോ ഗ്രാഫീസ് ദ so based on the different equation that's uh, for a um, discrete time systems we want to represent in the both mode block diagram and our signal flow graph representation is there so now we look in the section is block diagram representation and our signal flow representation of our dit systems so these two uh, representation this will be main basically represent the entire system of our discrete time then by using these two uh, structures we want to we, we will get we will did the easily the easily our realization so listen there will be basically uh, by representing the uh, difference equation based on the representation of our difference equation we want to represent in the both block diagram and our signal flow graph before that we want to learn the comparison between our block diagram representation and signal flow repres- uh, signal flow graph representation so listen the way in both systems in both representation there will be basically four elements are the the first one is adder and the second one is constant multiplier and the third one is unit delay element and the fourth one is unit advance element okay these are the four basic elements that we used in the block diagram and our signal flow graph representation so first we want to uh, discuss the representation how we can able to represent in the both block diagram and signal flow graph so first we are looking the adder so the adder is the basically using for uh, adding adding to or more signals so when we are representing the adder in our block diagram representation and our signal flow graph so basically listen the adder i already said to you the adder is always using for adding two or more signals when we are going to represent in the your block diagram representation that adder is always represented like here this will be the representation one 
plus sign inside our circle the first one arrow is represented by one signal that is our x1 of n and next one is x2 of n when you when we add in these two signals the output will be always given the sum of our first signal x1 of n plus our x2 of n okay then the same adder that can be represented in our signal flow diagram too so that junction there will be a junction that or node there will be basically there will be represented the uh, branches and nodes so this will be a node that will be a node that will be represent the junction for meeting the two signals x1 of n and your x2 of n and the output of this node that will be represented this and here it will be represented the sum of our first signal that means our x1 of n and our x2 of n so this will be the representation of a adder in your block diagram as well as in your signal flow graph okay then next we are going to discuss about constant multiplier So, for in the case of a constant multi multiplier, <coughs> it will be basically using for uh, multiply a, uh, our signal with a constant value. So, listen, for in the case of block diagram representation, that constant multiplier that can be represented like this, like our uh, op amp, but not an op amp. So, it will be the op amp within the, our constant is right there. And this is our input, x1 of n. Whenever our signal that should be enter to your constant multiplier then the output of that uh, multiplier which will become the multiple of constant and your signal okay so next the representation is this uh, the same that can be represented in other uh, other model too because uh, it can also represent it like this this is x1 this a g is represent the x1 of n then the branch represent a our constant then the output will become a into x x of n this will also represent like this in our block diagram representation so the same one uh, our constant multiplier uh, in your uh, signal flow graph is represented like this is the node that node is provides your signal x1 of n and that goes for a branch that branch having the weightage a then after it will be enter or passing through the that branch the output will become a into x of n so this will be the representation of your uh, constant multiplier in your signal flow graph okay so next we are looking unit delay element so for in the case of unit delay element it will be provides a delay for what a unit delay is provided so we have already studied delays x we x x of n aanu nammal input aayittu irukkanengil adinte delay vannu version nanna x of n minus 1 this will be the unit delay so ee or unit delay representation vendidana whenever you are using this unit delay element in your representation okay so for in the case of block diagram representation we give we represent this is the representation x of n whenever this x of n that will be entered to this unit delay listen here it will be a unit delay minus 1 is that raised to minus 1 is represented here so that same things will be happen here there will be a delay x x of n minus 1 is getting at the output okay so uh, and moreover this the, the, the this unit delay element we can also represent it in our signal flow diagram so for the first case there will be a node that should be node is provides the signal x of n and that x of n this gives the there will be a branch that branch is represent the delay z raised to minus 1 and x of n minus 1 is the output of this uh, unit delay element so this is in the case of unit delay element but whenever you need a delay more than one that means a delay element we need to represent here for the case of general delay element so we can represent it in like z raised to minus a or you can just write z raised to 2 z raised to minus 2 sorry z raised to minus 2 so that block is represented like this 
okay you are input is n dot your block and when the output side it will be given as x of n minus 2 so whatever the power value of your z the same thing is is add or uh, subtract with your input x of n so that will be the delay and the same one we can represent like this too x of n and z raised to minus 2 x of n minus 2 will become your what delay element then uh, this is the representation of unit delay and here in the case of a general delay element so here uh, you can uh, generally uh, you can able to re uh, represent this delay element as in the case of z raised to minus a like this and that a is greater than 1 you can give the condition so next is uh, the fourth element we are already said that unit advance element unit advance element for the case of the advancements we want to make the for in the uh, for, for an example you can take uh, your input is x of n you want to advance by one so that means your advanced version is x of n plus one this is the advanced version so for this case we can ex ex express our uh, block diagram representation like this set raised to one not minus one here i represent the set raised to one for unit advancement so this is the representation of your unit advancement element yeah, in your block diagram representation then the output will give x plus 1 x of n plus 1 okay for in the case of the signal flow graph representation or the node the, the node is represented x of n and that branch case carries the branch weight as it is to 1 and your output will be, become x of n plus 1 so this is in the for this is for the case of unit advancement for the general case advance advance element the power will become greater than one you can take you, we can simply take for an example z raised to two in that case you are input x of n enter to your block and it will be given x of n plus two the same thing is represented with our signal flow diagram that branch branch weightage is z raised to 2 and you got the output signal is z raised to sec x of n plus 2 so this all uh, these are all the representation of your uh, elements in block diagram as well as in your uh, signal flow graph representation so these uh, four elements are enough for the realization of our DIT systems by using this uh, representation or elements we can able to represent a typical uh, DSP DIT systems okay shall we move for a problem with related to your representation by using block diagram as well as in your with your signal flow graph okay so listen next we move for a problem by using our realization okay so the question is draw the block diagram and the signal flow graph representation of a dit dt dit sorry dti dts with discrete time system with different situation y of n is equal to point zero point seven x of n plus zero point seven x of n minus one so the problem once more i read draw the block diagram and signal flow graph representation of a discrete time system with different equation y of n is equal to zero point seven uh, x of n plus 0.7 x of n minus 1 so before you are going to your solution step just you look your difference equation so you need an adder okay by you uh, whenever when you are looking the difference equation you need a you need one adder one delay element okay and one the 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 two the two uh, uh, signals that means your x of n and x of n minus one that's uh, these two are multiplied with a constant multiplier that means point c is zero point seven here it to zero point seven so either and side loop constant either same idle like constant multipliers on number use if i use either given so other than an income that the or constant multiplier body so uh, listen uh, and the command cell first in um add to before you are doing your steps or uh, 
diagram so you first you learn what are the elements you need the first you need a adder and next you need a constant multiplier and another one is your delay element so first we are looking for a block diagram representation representation so for the case uh, first you represent the x of n that means your input signal then that input signal this here the signal that should be having the constant multiplier multiplier is there the same multiplier is using here that multiplier having the multiplication 0 0.7 so after enter your input x of n the output will become 0 0.7 x of n that 0 0.0 x of n the one branch that will be going to the down here and another is the okay then after this uh, 0. Point, uh, 0 0.7 x of n this signal we are going giving a delay for here for this that means we give a unit delay because here it is a unit uh, delay is happen here so that's why we give the unit delay and next the two the output of this delay element this can be represented like 0 0.7 x of n minus 1 okay this is that and after this we give a adder here at the adder the one side is your 0 0.7 x of n minus 1 and other side is your 0 0.7 x of n when you add two signals you will get your difference equation y of n okay so this is the block diagram representation then you we can do our signal flow graph representation so we can represent a node for the your input x of n so this input x of n is enter with a, a branch that branch weight is 0 0.7 after uh, uh, when the signal is entered to the branch then the uh, uh, other side which will be represented as 0.7 x of n is here okay so then after this there will be a there here i represented node from this node is one branch is here and another branch is here so this two branches is carries the signal is 0.7 x of n so after this uh, node one branch is goes to a delay element unit delay element that unit delay element having the that branch having the weightage set raised to minus 1 after this branch the signal is represented like this 0 0.7 x of n minus 1 okay so this signal is entered to a adder and the same one the other signal that means your points 0 0.7 x of n that's that branch is entered to here so the node is and the node represented there will be a two signal that node has represented a adder so at the two end of your this adder this one signal is 0.7 x of n minus 1 and other signal will become 0.7 x of n so by adding these two signals at the uh, node y, what we can represent is what your y of n so this is the representation of your uh, difference equation by using your block diagram and signal flow graph so ningal ingane oru block diagram representation or signal flow representation use cheyyanadu kondu nammala oru discrete time systemathile nammal realization korchodi easy aagum okay so there will be a different type of realizations are there for next class we namukku different type of realizations onnu discuss cheyyam Okay, so I think you get this idea about uh, signal flow graph and um, block diagram representation of, of uh, your different situation. Okay, thank you. If you have any doubt, you can ask. Thank you.